Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you 10 most common programs that are installed by Linux users. Moreover, I'm going to show you different ways to install the programs and also how to uninstall them in case you've done a mistake or you're just fed up with them. Okay, so let's start with the first program and that will going to be Google Chrome. So what we need to do, go in Mozilla and let's go on Google. Google.co.uk, that's because I'm based in London, as I've mentioned. And here, download Google Chrome. We're just gonna click the link and just download Chrome. Here we have two options for Deb or RPM. We're gonna go with Deb because we have Ubuntu, so accept and install. And we just need to wait for it to download. And if we go in the folder, we're gonna double click it. We're gonna take us to the App Center. Here it will gonna just load, but we're not gonna find nothing. To install it, now we just need to go in Terminal, so Control Alt T. Here we just need to go in this location, so downloads, that we're gonna be CD. downloads okay and here we have sudo dpkg uh, that's from debian packages i from install and now we're gonna have all these names here we're gonna have google slash chrome stable current amd64 dot debian and enter course we need to put the password and we're gonna start the installation process once installed you have two options to run it first you go in show apps and you're gonna have it here google chrome or second you're just gonna type google chrome in your terminal and if you press enter automatically starts welcome to google chrome blah 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 okay it's working perfect so that was with the first tab. So let's close everything and go to the second one. And that will gonna be VLC. Here we're gonna go straight to the App Center and we're just gonna type VLC. Click. And we have install. Of course, in Ubuntu, it will gonna always ask the password. It's a bit annoying, but in the same time, it's very secure. Now we just open. Privacy network, okay. And we can enjoy a movie, a video, or I don't know, it depends for what you want to use it. Let's jump to the third app. Next one will gonna be GIMP, and that's a image manipulation program. It's something similar with Photoshop, not the same, but you know you can you can use it quite good, and it's free. Uh, this one I'm gonna show you how to install it directly from terminal. So let's go, okay. And here we're just gonna type sudo apt install GIMP and enter now it will gonna ask us do you want to continue yes and the following command that i'm gonna type is not necessary or not always necessary but i just like to do it so i'm checking if any updates are needed just to be sure all the programs are running proper and uh, yeah so it was sudo apt update to access gimp show apps and we have it here gimp just click it and perfect and now you can edit your pictures for free plus it's in ubuntu so happy days for tab visual studio code for that one we're just gonna go in app center again and say visual studio and it's already here just click it install password again open and now you have the tools to become the programmer that you always wanted close this one and let's go to our fifth tab and that one it's libra office it uh, replaced the microsoft office it doesn't replace it but it has similar functions it's free and you can use it in ubuntu you can still use microsoft office but i recommend to use the online version uh, that one is running without headache i'm pretty sure you can make the normal one to run on ubuntu uh, me personally never tried it but i'm pretty sure somewhere out there in the wild there are some of you that tried it and uh, made it run without any issue but let's not waste more time and install LibreOffice and I'm gonna show you exactly how it's running for that let's just open the terminal and here we're gonna have sudo app install LibreOffice enter password yes I want to continue it's gonna take a bit but not too much probably like a couple of minutes it's quite a big pack compared with like VLC or other packs that we installed until now. Okay, now we're just gonna go on show apps and we have Libra Office Base, Calculator, Office Draw, Office Impress. It's similar with Microsoft Office. Let's go write a document. Next tip, okay. Let's say subscribe and 
Let's make it an 100. Shameless plug. Let's close this one. We saw it's working. No, don't say. What else? Uh, you know what? For the sixth, I think it's sixth. I'm not sure. Uh, I hope I'm not wrong. Sixth application. We should install Discord because I'm pretty sure out there there are a lot of gamers and they use Discord while they're gaming. And let's try a different method. Let's try to use nap. So we're gonna go back in terminal. We are already here. Let's type sudo snap install Discord. Okay, and now that is done, show apps and Discord. Just click. Now you just need to populate the fields, log in and enjoy. Let's close this one. And let's go to our 7th or 8th, I think it was 7th app. And that one, it's Spotify for all the music lovers. So let's install it, sudo snap, install Spotify. Once we are done, again, show apps. We're gonna have it here, Spotify. So what should I show you next? Done for music, browsing, pictures, uh, office stuff. Let's go with torrents. You never know, maybe you want to download the torrent or something and you just need the right program for Ubuntu. For that we're gonna go with transmission as it's very lightweight and easy to install. So let's go sudo apt install transmission and done. Show apps. Come on and here it is transmission. I agree. Okay here you just need to drag your torrent and of course you can choose the file where to download everything else I'm gonna explain you, I'm pretty sure you already know The following program that we're gonna install and we're gonna do it straight from Terminal It's Inkscape It's similar with uh, Adobe Illustrator It's open source and it's very very useful Let's install it We have sudo apt install Inkscape And the uh, password and Let's just run it Inkscape Perfect Now you can use this one as well and the final app will gonna be Zoom. I'm gonna show you how to install it on Linux. It's working perfect. And I know a lot of you are still using it now. Let's go, let's say in Chrome. And we're gonna just go Google. And we have download Zoom. Okay. Once you enter the website, we're gonna ask you what Linux type. We're just gonna go Ubuntu 64 and download. But I'm gonna go to the folder. And we have it here. Let's open terminal. Okay, and we're gonna go in the folder. So we have downloads. And let's uh, install the package. So we have sudo dpkg install zoom. Let's see if it's. Yeah, it's here, all the name amd64.deb. Ah, sorry, my bad. I put instead of sudo sudp that okay errors were encounter while processing zoom let's go show apps and let's try to open it and it's not working it's good and bad bad because it's not working but good because that way i can show you how to uninstall a program in ubuntu and after we're just gonna go and install it in a different way so if you go show apps you're gonna see it here zoom workplace to uninstall it, we're just gonna go in terminal back, sudo up, remove zoom. Yes, I'm sure everything should be clear now. Let's click, no more zoom. Now, to install it, another way, so this one is not working, I'm just gonna delete it. I'm gonna delete the old Chrome as well, we don't need it anymore. Let's close everything, I'm just gonna go in the app. Let's see, do we have it here? Zoom. Zoom client. Install. Password. And it's working perfect. If you're wondering if Zoom client from here is the same with the Zoom program, yes, it is literally the same. Now, use your credentials, log in, and uh, what can I say? Join a meeting or create one. Let's not waste more time and finish this video here. I really hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget, like and subscribe. Take care.